We're also learning tonight that those accused are ready to fight back. Keith Whitney continues our team coverage. He's live with the jail. Keith? Yeah, DeMarco, the Fulton County Jail represents a stunning fall from grace for the nearly three dozen APS teachers and administrators who have now been indicted. Many of them will begin to show up here next Tuesday to get booked and bonded. Now, the case is going to come down to this. Did Beverly Hall and her administrators run a criminal enterprise or simply demand excellence from a staff that took it upon themselves to cheat? All this weekend, defense attorneys are going to be pouring over the indictments. We spoke tonight with attorney Bob Rubin, who represents principals Willie Davenport and Dana Evans. He says he's eager to go to court because he doesn't believe prosecutors have a solid case against his clients. Every case is different. And again, I haven't, I haven't seen why they're alleging that, that my clients were involved in some grand conspiracy that covers the whole APS school system. Um, I am not aware of any evidence that Drs. Evans or Dr. Davenport um, participated, encouraged, or solicited uh, anyone else to engage in a in a widespread conspiracy to manipulate the test scores. Now, Ruben says some teachers and proctors may be implicated by students and other witnesses, but as far as administrators are concerned, without a smoking gun, it's not going to be easy to prove their guilt, and he believes his clients, at least, are going to walk. At the Fulton County Jail, Keith Whitney, 11 Live News tonight. All right. Thank you, Keith.